guys, Ashley here with Coffee and Bible Time. And if you are new here, me and my sister post Christian videos weekly. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy our channel. Pretty much, what is your goal in life? Like, just think about that. What is your goal in life right now? Like, what are you living for? What are you striving for? What is your goal in life? And I was reading in the Bible in... 1 Corinthians, and let me read this to you. Do you not know that in a race, all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like a man running aimlessly. I do not fight like a man beating the air. No, I beat my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified. 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. I just think this verse is so encouraging and it actually encouraged me to really think about what is my goal in life? Like what am I living for? Because this verse is all about running to get the prize. I don't want to be running for worldly things that when I will capture them, I my heart won't be satisfied. So then I started journaling about this verse and it came out to all this journaling and I absolutely loved it. I was thinking about what Paul said in here about how we need to run in such a way as to get the prize. We need to go into strict training run like a man that is not running aimlessly, not fight like a man beating the air. Make this life count, like do things for heaven and for eternal glory and for God's glory because that's what's gonna count in the end. So then I ended up journaling about what is my goal in life? Like what am I running for? What am I living for? And these are the three things I put. I put one, to glorify God like that's my number one goal that's what I'm running for number two to further his kingdom and making make gains for the gospel so that's the second thing like what am I living for to further God's kingdom not to make my name known but to make his name known and then the third one is to love God and love people and that goes along with the greatest commandment to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So those are my top three things. Those, those are what I'm running for. Like that is why I'm on earth. That is why I fight the good fight every single day. So journal about what you're living for. What, what are you living for? Definitely they should probably be somewhere in this area because um, you don't want to be living for things that are empty. So after I journaled about that, um, I ended up reflecting on my life. I kind of wrote down every area of my life. So my home, where I work, um, babysitting, church, and serving. So I pretty much broke down my life into all the areas I spend my time. And I kind of reflected on those areas and I asked myself, in these things, am I glorifying God? Am I furthering his kingdom? And am I loving him and people to the best of my ability? Because I, the time I have that he has given me, I want to see if I'm actually glorifying him. And then also in the Bible for verse, how it says that we go into strict training. I also journaled about... The training I should be doing and so in there I put the training that I need to be doing here on earth is to be in God's Word daily to push myself in prayer to step out of my comfort zone to humble myself and serve wherever God puts me to help those who are less fortunate with money talents and resources to serve a church to spread God's Word online through YouTube so that's what I'm doing for my training um, definitely you guys might have a different way of training but write down the ways that you're going to train here on earth, um, your main goal, and then the areas of your life that you're spending your most time. And I'm telling you that this is just such a good Christian journaling prompt. It's going to make you think. It's going to make you really dig deep into how you're living your life and what you need to 
do differently, what you need to continue doing, and I just hope that this kind of inspired you, hopefully, for more stuff to do in your journal and all that, and I really hope this video wasn't all over the place because I kind of just went on it with a little bit of a wham. So, I hope and pray that you guys will definitely reflect on what your goal is in life, and I hope this video helped at least a little bit. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day.